Hi, David here, Lancaster Automart A to B, and here we've got 2014 14 plate Skoda Octavia. It's a 1.4 TSI. And what I'll be doing in this video is just showing you around the condition of the vehicle and showing you some of the features it has. So we'll start the walk around at the driver's side rear wheel. So you can see it's got a nice simple alloy design there. And that one's in very good condition. And then as we work our way around the side, the tire driver's side of the vehicle again, very tidy. We're onto our next alloy. Again, no curb and no corrosion on that one. Just as we move on to the front as well, it's a very nicely spec vehicle. It's not the top spec, but it's far from the bottom. So you can see that the headlights are very nice and clear. No issues around the front end. There's a very light scuff just here. But again, very hard to tell unless you're really close. And onto the passenger side from the alloy. Again, no issues or condition there. Right down the side of the vehicle, we've got one light mark just down here. And then last alloy, don't want to miss that one. Then onto the rear. Again, all very light, minor stuff, mainly on bumpers, so plastic panels, so no risk of any corrosion anywhere. And we'll just pop the boot up. As you can see, boot's massive in this one, plenty of space, so it's very clean as well. Also got Seats that don't quite fall flat, but you get very close. And then underneath the boot floor, you do have a spare wheel as well. And one thing I have noticed, I don't know if it came with the car, but we're going to be leaving it in. I assume it did because it's got Skoda on it, but it's a little bag to keep your oil in, so it can't leak anywhere in the car. It's also got Velcro on the back as well. So that is just sat just over there, staying upright. Then you've also got this little hook here to hang some shopping bags from and a 12 volt power outlet in the boot. So moving on from there, we'll just make our way into the back seats. So there is plenty of leg room as you'd expect. So that's currently set for my driving position at six foot one. You can see there's absolutely loads of space behind it. And there you can see how flat the seats actually fold. So they're also really lovely material, these. Very comfortable, quite a bit of padding on them. And now we'll jump into the front where we've got electric windows all around, electrical adjustment on the wing mirrors and the heated. You've then got your light switch just over here on the right hand side. And just underneath there, you've got a little sort of glove box on the driver's side. And just while it's up there, we've got the mileage 56,682. And then there is two keys for this vehicle as well. Both original Skoda keys. There you go, straight into life. No issues at all. So onto the features inside then. First of all, we'll just cover the stalks. So you've got your indicator stalk over on the left-hand side. Obviously, you've only got your main beam on there due to the fact that your lights are located over here. Just turn that radio off. And you've also got Wiper stalk over here with your trip computer controls right on the end of that. We've then got the infotainment screen, so it's quite a bit going on here. So obviously you've got your radio, so there's a few ways to have your radio set up. So we've got DAB, FM and AM. Then got loads of ways to have your media connected as well. So you've got CD, SD card, Bluetooth audio and USB. Then got mobile phone connectivity, voice controls. Then obviously you've got setup and sound, so most cars will have that. And then you've also got a car section here. This can tell you your miles per gallon, your current range, that sort of thing. There's also a little bit where you can see driving data. You've also got your media as well, so that just kind of is a bit of an overview one. And then obviously onto menu, you can then sort of flick through all the different little ones I've shown you there. So there is another one that shows up on here. So if we press mode, and then select your driving mode. So you've got normal, sport and eco, and you've also got individual and there's a little bit where you can look at the information so currently we're on normal steering with eco engine and eco air conditioning so last one to go to as well is we'll just bring this up first so you do get auto climate control and it is dual zone and if you hit the setup button in the middle you can actually see what's going on on the screen there so we've currently got driver's side at 19 passenger on 18 you can see we're in eco mode as well so very nice and simple Moving down a little further, there's your AUX input and USB socket. You've then got a little bit of a storage tray under here. You've got a nice six-speed manual gearbox, 12-volt power outlet in the front, a manual handbrake, there's a removable ashtray as well. And then the last little thing to cover is just where you find your SD cards and your CD player. It's just inside the glove box there. So if there is anything I've missed in this video or any extra info you want, don't hesitate to get in contact with us and we'll see what we can do to help. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.